Education. education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. The world requires the change. And so, in the microcosm of the city of Lucknow, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi started City Montessori School in 1959, a non-profit organization that was set up as a laboratory to create world-minded and socially conscious citizens who would work for the welfare of humanity and its unity. Plato had said, it is the idea that moves the world. Goth says, life is action. The story of Dr. Jagdish Gandhi's life is refreshingly vibrant that encourages one to take charge, regenerate and renew. The concept of karma was introduced to him by his uncle Shri Prabhu Dayalji who inculcated in him hope and to dream of a world where there will be Satyu, the divine civilization. His father took him to village temple where religious discourses and discussions took place and his pious mother ingrained in him the value of complete connect with God at all times. Greatly influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, young Jagdish found not only the peaceful narrative of serving society but also the burning fervor of resolution in the great man. He could fathom the power of the slogan of Jai Jagat or Hail the World coined by the Mahatma and Acharya Vinoba Bhave to reform and restructure global society. He laid the foundation of a school where value of Vasudheva Kutumbakam or Earth is but one country and mankind its citizens is being nurtured through unique CMS broader bolder education model for the 21st century, an education capable of saving humanity that draws heavily from the teachings of Baha'u'llah that says, among the greatest of all the great services that can possibly be rendered by a man to Almighty God is their meaningful spiritual education of children, building their character and inculcating in their tender hearts the love of God. He always felt that education is not filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. The school has educated students to respect the values of tolerance and has been actively working to construct the defenses of peace in the minds of students, parents and public. In recognition of this remarkable achievement, the school was awarded the 2002 UNESCO Prize for Peace Education. The school that began with five children and a borrowed capital of US dollar 10 in 1959 today has over 56,000 students, a Guinness World Record for being the largest school by pupils. He still works, sleeps, eats and entertains visitors in 12 by 14 square feet room where he first began his mission. All his personal belongings can fit into a suitcase. Dr. Gandhi, who has maximized expenses on his vision and minimized his personal needs by religion, he is Baha'i. By way of personal wealth, he has none. 
His fervent admirer and follower, his wife, Dr. Bharati Gandhi, he is supported in his vision by his principals from 18 CMS campuses, 2,000 teachers and 1,000 other workers of CMS. The De Rosio Award winner in the 20th century, the recognition of outstanding service to education and human enrichment, Dr. Gandhi argues, as universe is governed by laws of nature, humanity should also be governed by one law and thus pioneered the idea of World Judiciary Summit. He constituted the World Unity Education Department to organize the international conferences of Chief Justices of the world since the turn of the century with the recently concluded 19th International Conference of Chief Justices of the world on Article 51 of the Constitution of India. Staunch believer of Mahatma Gandhi's path of non-violence, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi's life has been governed by the saying of let us not curse the darkness, instead light a candle. Member of the World Peace Prayer Society and a firm believer in the Japanese Kaizen theory of continuous improvement, Dr. Gandhi introduced the concept of quality control circles in education and is the founder chairman of the World Council for Total Quality and Excellence in Education. For bringing in this visionary concept in education, he was honored with the key to the city of Georgetown, USA. This crusader for unity and peace, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi has a class of his own working on a thesis, True Education Releases Capacities, Develops Analytical Abilities, Confidence in Oneself, Willpower, goal setting competency and instills the vision that will enable oneself to become a self motivated agent of social transformation serving for the best interest of the community for nearly six decades now in a real laboratory of a school called cms and its community focusing on real-time subjects in globalism, universal brotherhood and world unity and peace. Dr. Gandhi has earned five honorary doctorate degrees, namely honorary doctorate degree in education in 2009 by Bashkir State Pedagogical University, Ufa, Russia, honorary doctorate degree in law bestowed by the University of Concepcion del Uruguay, Republic of Argentina, in 2012. In the same year, another honorary doctorate degree in law given by the University of Mendoza, Republic of Argentina. Honorary doctorate degree by Inca Gracilaso University in Peru in 2014. An honorary doctorate degree by the National University of Mongolia in 2015. Lifetime Achievement Award by the Education World magazine in 2017. The prestigious Goosey Peace Prize in Manila, Philippines in 2011. The award, also known as the Asian Nobel Prize, is given to achievers of the world. And Soaring Above the Rest Award by the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examination, New Delhi for his invaluable contribution to peace through education in 2014. Who could have imagined that a frail, bashful boy born in one of thousands of remote, poverty-stricken, backward villages of the state of pre-independent Uttar Pradesh in these past 60 years would have been able to create a wonderful experiment of immense value to educators worldwide a story which has received global recognition, a story worth understanding by policy makers and schools worldwide. May CMS fragrance fill the sky And its name endure forever and I May its founders ideals inspire to strive, to seek, to ever aspire May we uphold the good and fair In 
all that we do and dare At home, at school, at play In actions of the day School is a temple of learning Where knowledge and wisdom rules Where we become the changes we dream of Our most beloved school Our lessons are of peace and love our anchor is of spirituality Our greetings for all is Jay Jagger Our vision is of world unity Unique in the annals of education Our founder is a one of a kind the light, the light of the world, and CMS, the hope of mankind, may CMS fragrance fill the sky, and his name endure forever and may its founders ideals inspire. To strive, to seek, to ever aspire May we uphold the good and fair In all that we do and dare At home, at school, at play In actions of the day of the day We welcome Honorable Yogi Adityanath Ji Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh at the inaugural session of the 19th International Conference of Chief Justices of the World, Shri Yogi Adityanath Ji, the most dynamic and most popular Chief Minister of not only of Uttar Pradesh, the most popular Chief Minister of India, who has created history in the annals of uh, the progress of any state. Now the state of Uttar Pradesh is much ahead of many, many states, and it is because of the uh, contribution that our Yogi Ji has done, because he is a self-sacrificing person. We are equally honored to have amongst us Honorable Shri Hridayanand Dikshit Ji, Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of Uttar Pradesh, the most popular speaker of our state of Uttar Pradesh. Chief Guest, Mr. Speaker, and the eminent dignitaries of the 19th International Conference of Chief Justices of the World, then lit the lamp for dissemination of learning, justice, wisdom, guests, and knowledge. To the stage for the lighting of the lamp ceremony. Yogi Adityanath Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, who is here with us, our guest of honor, is an artist's picture. Forever and ever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All our eminent guests are requested to line up on the steps for a group photograph with our esteemed Chief Guest, Dr. A group photograph with our chief guest. After the group photograph, chief guest Sri Yogi Adityanath Ji addressing the huge gathering of 370 eminent guests and thousands of CMS students said, City Manti Sri School ki pahal par Bharat ke samvidhan ke anuched ikkyaman ki 
भावना के अनुरूप सारे विश्व में एकता शांति और मानवता की भलाई करने तथा पूरी दुनिया के बच्चों के भविष्य को सुरक्षित बनाने का जो बीड़ा आप सभी न्यायविदों ने उठाया है इसकी जितनी भी प्रशंसा की जाए वह कम है वास्तव में हमारे देश की संस्कृति और सभ्यता वह सुधैव कुटुंब कम की रही है जिसमें संपूर्ण पृथ्वी को अपना घर तथा समस्त मानव जाति को परिवार का एक सदस्य माना है ऐसे में हमारा एक नैतिक कर्तव्य बनता है कि हम सारे विश्व की सारी मानव जाति की भलाई के लिए काम करें आप सभी जानते हैं कि वर्तमान विश्व के सामने अंतर्राष्ट्रीय आतंकवाद विभिन्न देशों के मध्य सीमा विवाद परमाणु हथियारों का भंडार आदि जैसे अनेक बड़ी चुनौतियां हैं इन चुनौतियों के समाधान के लिए सभी राष्ट्रों को मिलजुल कर कार्य करने के साथ ही अंतर्राष्ट्रीय कानून का सम्मान भी करना होगा अंतर्राष्ट्रीय विवादों के निपटारे के लिए पारस्परिक संवाद और मध्यस्थता आदि के माध्यम से समाधान ढूंढने के प्रयास करने होंगे जहां तक उत्तर प्रदेश की बात है तो प्रदेश सरकार द्वारा समाज के सभी वर्गों को सुलभ एवं त्वरित न्याय दिलाने एवं महिलाओं बच्चों वृद्धजनों किसानों मजदूरों सहित समाज के वंचितों और उपेक्षित वर्गों को मानवीय गरिमा के अनुरूप जीवन जीने के लिए बेहतर वातावरण उपलब्ध कराने का लगातार प्रयास किया जा रहा है इसके लिए हमारी सरकार ने व्यापक कदम उठाए हैं राज्य सरकार बेहतर कानून व्यवस्था के साथ साथ आधुनिक न्याय प्रणाली के लिए पूरी गंभीरता से प्रयास कर रही है रिस्पेक्टेड ऑनरेबल योगी आदित्यनाथ जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश said that he was very happy to attend this special conference of the chief justices of the world and he very warmly welcomed all the participants in it on behalf of the government of uttar pradesh of which he is honored to serve as the chief minister a state of 222 million people he said it's a matter of great great honor for him uh, to be here he said that this conference has been assembled to think about the welfare of the 2.5 billion children of the world he said that the our country india has always striven to promote world brotherhood based on the philosophy of vasudev kutumbakam which means the earth the whole earth is one family as the speaker of state legislative assembly of uttar pradesh the biggest house of representative in state of this country i have the proud and privilege to participate in this beautiful gathering Mr Speaker cogently weaved his talk around ancient Indian wisdom of cosmos universe and the smallest entity family where peace is the only constant as peace is embraced with peace universe means united poems in bharat we have a concept called brahma bharat mein hum logon ki anubhuti hamare purvajon ki anubhuti brahma namak ek satta ki hai फॉर टोटैलिटी ब्रह्म टोटैलिटी का संपूर्णता का एक नाम है दी वर्ल्ड अस्तित्व और एग्जिस्टेंस इज एनफ फॉर रिस्पेक्ट इन भारतीय कंटेस्ट इट ऑल्सो एक्सेप्ट द डिग्निटी ऑफ ऑल द नेशंस एज वेल एज देयर थाट्स इट मे ऑल्सो भी मैंसन हियर दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी हैज मेड स्पेक्टेकुलर एफर्ट्स टू प्रोमोट पीस एंड हारमोनी among various nations of the world his foreign policy and foreign relations has been a hallmark of this decade students of cms gomti nagar second campus presented the world parliament of city montessori school rajajipuram yet another year and we are here again to enhance our understanding of international law to widen our perspectives of our, how we view the issues facing the world 
The United Nations is essentially the much needed world government founded on a legal document, the United Nations Charter. It has a code to resolve disputes between members, a parliament of state, the General Assembly, and crucially, it can authorize collective enforcement of its will through the Security Council. In spite of this appearance of a legal order, international law seems incapable of addressing the urgent problems facing the world. How come the powerful get away with breaking the law? Why does justice so often get trumped by the expediency? Are we expecting too much from a legal system? International law can only move forward when there is a political consensus that it should. I yield my time to the executive board. Thank you, delegate. First coined by an English philosopher, Jeremy Bentham, international law is customarily recognized as the law that regulates the affairs between sovereign states. Public international law concerns itself with the issues of rights involving a number of nations or nations and its people and matters of other nations. It differs from the private international law which deals with the dissimilarity between private individuals, natural and judicial. To quote Louis D. Branders, if we desire the respect for international law, we must first make the law respectable. Nearly always, the first question asked about international law is, how can it be a law if it cannot be enforced? Trade and diplomatic sanctions are slow to work. Moreover, their burden falls most heavily on the segment of sanctioned population and ordinary civilians. The conflict between international law and national sovereignty is subject to vigorous debate and disputes in academia, diplomacy, and politics. Certainly, there is a growing trend toward judging a state's domestic actions in the light of international law and standards. Those who are enslaved would be an earthquake, then the tremors would be felt in every single nation. Human trafficking is a form of modern slavery, a multi-billion dollar industry that denies freedom to 24.9 million people around the world. And no matter where you live, the chances are that it's happening nearby. This motion is in order. Delegates who second this motion? Any oppositions? Seeing none, this motion clearly passes. With the powers vested in me as the Secretary General of this session of the Module United Nations at the 19th International Conference of the Chief Justices of the World, I, Vishakha Grewal, declare the Module United Nations Conference closed. I'd just like to very briefly draw attention to the level of depth in the research that all these students have engaged in. I mean, for example, when they raised the topic of establishing a world parliament, they were not simply promoting idealistic notions. They had in detail come up with the proposed organs and bodies connected with that parliament and the roles and responsibilities and how they would function. They have really put a huge amount of hard work into this. So I would uh, like to congratulate them all. Honorable Mr. Justice A.P. Mishra, former judge of Supreme Court of India and the chairman of the reception committee of the conference in his welcome address of the inaugural session I said, Today, you call upon to consider this, that unless either there is a modification in the United Nations Charter to infuse that power of international law. If you, unless we either modify the UN charters to bring the result, which is very basic, very basic, basic is a governance and an enforceable law, which the children have said today, 
and unless if that is not done today you also heard each of the country great leaders said world parliament and world enforcement law is the foundation mobilizirati širom sveta sve one snage koje jesu za mir koje jesu za stabilnost koje jesu za strik it is necessary to mobilize all forces that stand for peace across the world His Excellency Mr Galema Motlanti President of the Republic of South Africa from 2008 till 2009 said our nations must respect international law in the interest of universal justice and peace Across the globe children from poor countries and communities are exposed to the risk of child abuse prostitution drugs and human trafficking These acts are often coordinated by sophisticated cartels that profit from the pain of children. The Right Honorable Helena Ann Kennedy, Baroness Kennedy of the Shores from Great Britain, threw light on Universal Declaration of Human Rights. What we've all learned in history is that one of the problems with powers is it's very seductive. It can turn people into um something other than the way that we knew them before power corrupts and the great saying goes an absolute power corrupts absolutely and we like to think that in democracies of course there isn't that absolute power there are checks and balances and one of those checks is the an independent judiciary but that does mean that politicians have to respect that and not try to choose judges according to uh, their likes and dislikes it means that they shouldn't be attacking the judiciary because they don't like decisions that the judiciary make and so it's really important that we protect that element in our society of the independent judiciary his excellency justice adil omar sharif president supreme constitutional court of egypt said national judiciary should evolve international thinking for a more humane global society i'm equally thankful to all participating judges member of the legal family and other participants who have taken time out of their busy schedule to join us today and be part of this important gathering hence allowing us the opportunity to exchange views and share experiences with one another her excellency ms amina gurib fakim president of the republic of mauritius from 2015 till 2018 elaborated upon investment in equities there are more than 500 million adolescent girls living in developing world today and every one of them can potentially help break the cycle of intergenerational poverty with ripple effect multiplying across a society an extra year of primary school can boost girls future wages by up to 20% When women and girls earn income, they reinvest 90% of it into their families compared to men, I have to say, invest only 30 to 40%. And yet, too often, girls are overlooked and undervalued. Many are treated as commodities, married off too young, or die in childbirth. Education educating girls is the right thing to do. It is a smart thing to do. it is a false economy not to invest in them even in hard economic times honorable dr justice augusto lopez claro senior fellow school of foreign service at georgetown usa illustrated upon the powers and limitations of united nations since its inception provided solutions to enhance the functioning of the united nations shikshatmak sanskritik karyakram evam chintan hetu विश्व एकता सत्संग में आप सभी सपरिवार सादर आमंत्रित हैं